Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, in this video, we're going to find the second moment of area of the same problem that we did in the previous two videos, but in this case, relative to the origin. Two videos ago, we did it relative to the y-axis. In the last video, relative to the x-axis. In this video, we're going to do it relative to the origin. And this is going to be the equation. The moment, the second moment of area relative to the origin is equal to the double integral of r squared dA. dA is our little area element, which is dx times dy, and r here is the distance from the origin to our area element. Now we can convert that r squared into Cartesian coordinates, so this can be written as follows. It's a double integral of x squared plus y squared instead of r squared times dA. And then we can actually separate this, so this can now be written as the integral of x squared times dA plus the integral of y squared times dA. Now notice that this here really is the second moment of area relative to the x-axis, and this is the second moment of area relative, or I should, I'll take that back, this is the second moment of area relative to the y-axis because we, we integrate over the x-direction. And this is the second moment of area relative to the x-axis because we're going to be integrating in this direction. So this really becomes i sub y plus i sub x. And since we already worked out the solution to those two problems right there, we can then say that this must therefore be equal to i sub y, which is 2 fifteens times h w cubed plus 2 sevenths times h cubed w. So what we can do here now is we can factor out an h and a w. So this can now be written as h times w times, here we're left with 2 fifteens w squared, 2 fifteens w squared plus here we have 2 sevenths h square 2 sevenths h square and of course since h times w is equal to the area well not really i thought it was going to be equal to the area there but it's not h times w is simply this complete area there so we can just leave it in that form and then simply say that this here is the second moment of area of this particular area relative to the origin and that's how it's done.